Are we rolling? We're rolling. So Max and I are going to explain a game that we've invented today called Teddy, Teddy Bear, Bear Wars. Wars. All right, Maxi, can you just let us know what we need to begin to set up the game? So you need two colours of Teddy Bear. Yep. So ten of one colour and four of another. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but then that's times two for the other team. Yep. So you actually need 20 of one colour and eight of the other. Yep. And then you have two special pieces, preferably the same thing. We've used these special kinds of teddy bears for them. Yep. And they're the general, aren't they? Yeah, they're the general. So this is the simple version of the game that we've yeah. got. We've got a harder version, which we'll also post. All right, cool. So what's the aim of the game? What do we need to do? Um, so you've got to battle each other. And if your general is defeated, you lose. Cool. So on each play, one person attacks and one person defends. So you start by attacking. Okay. Um, I'll go with two yellows. So you can either choose to attack with one or two of your people. Uh, the yellows roll a six-sided dice. That's their strength. And yep. the greens, of which we only have four, roll a ten-sided dice. That's their strength. But actually, the dice we're using is zero to nine. So we're actually just calling it a zero to nine dice, uh, which just changes the odds slightly. Yeah. So Max has put out his two, and I need to choose how I'm going to defend that. So I'm going to choose one green and one yellow. So Max will roll first, and he'll roll two six-sided dice. And then Dad will roll a six-sided and a nine-sided. Yep. I mean ten-sided. Oh, um, nine. Okay, so Max rolls a nine. Oop, and I just lost mine. And I have rolled a seven. Oh, so, so those are defeated? And they go to the cemetery. And, yeah. I get the, and I get mine back. And he gets his back. So you continue to play like that. You can either play one or two. So I get to attack now. I'm only going to play one, which means Max, I'm playing one of my six-sided dice folk, um, one of my soldiers. So then Max is going to combat me with a ten-sided. I roll first because I'm attacking. I get a two. Max combats with a three, with a three which means once again, bleh, my guy's dead. So you continue like that until you have no pieces left. The yeah. only thing worth noting is that this general can fight at any time. He's got a 20-sided dice, but the moment that he dies, the game is over. Yep, and the other person wins. Yeah, and the other person wins. So it's a risk playing him unless you have to towards the end of the game. Um, there are a couple of modifications that we have to this game. So the first modification is uh, your defensive strategy counters. So these, um, the idea is we're going to just have two each. Yep. And you can play these throughout the game. Can you explain, Maxi, how the defensive strategy counters work? So, do you remember? You, you have you can only play them when you're defending. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, let's play it and we'll, we'll, and we'll, we'll act just, it out. Yeah, okay. We'll so it. let's say I'm attacking you. Okay. All right. So, so we'll... I'm attacking you, and I'm going to put out one of my ten-sided and one of my six-sided. Now. You might choose to play oh, that yeah, defensive play defense counter, one counter. of your two. What does that mean? It means that um, I get to see your roll before I play mine. Yep. So I'm going to play mine. I have to roll first before he's chosen who to play. I've only rolled a six, six even though I've rolled a ten-sided and a six-sided. Now Max can choose what he wants to do to combat that. So because now that I know that, I think I'll put two yellows instead of a yellow and a green, mm -hmm. which I may have done in another situation yeah and unfortunately he only rolled a two. two and so i kill those two one thing worth noting is if we both roll the same so let's just mock around where max you attack me kiddo um, you attack me with one so i have to choose one to attack back let's say i attack back with my green which is a say, 10 sided and say i rolled a four and i also rolled a four we've got an equal score what happens in that instance um we would so we will capture, so we re-roll our weakest unit, so... In this instance, in this it's instance, only... Because we've only we've got one unit, it's just we re-roll, and whoever gets a higher captures the other unit, and that's part of their... Yep, yeah, so you, do, you have a roll. Four. Max rolled a four, I rolled a five, which means I capture his unit, and his unit joins my army. Cool, so then I strengthen my army. Um, the other modification we have of this game is um, quite... A lot more complicated where there's different units that are seafarers and you can attack from sea and across from land to sea 
um, but we might save that for another time to explain. Thanks for watching. Maxi, thanks for helping out.